Well, let's do a little experimentation. Vacuum pump on. We seen the last video where that's a real big bubbling leak right there at that hose. That line, that metal line that goes into the fitting going into the compressor, it's just bubbling under nitrogen pressure. But yet I'm, I'm getting down there, 700, going down in my um, readings under a vacuum. But let's see what happens when I turn off the vacuum. There, vacuum is off. And you can see it's losing vacuum, but it almost looks like, like moisture content. And I showed you with the UV light, the leak over at the O-rings on the expansion valve, but those are so little that it doesn't leak under pressure, even at 200 PSI. That's intermittent and under only certain operating when it hits a certain temperature, it's a small leak. Now check that out. Now, did you see all the bubbles that were just blasting out of that hose right there? From the last video, that was just bursting out, bubbles all the way around. It has like a crack going almost all the way around, separating the hose from the compressor. But look at the vacuum. On an analog gauge, that would pass on an analog gauge. Analog gauge can't even read this. The needle wouldn't even move. And, and look at it, it's steadily out, right? I got the vacuum off and it's steadily steadying out as if it was holding. Now let's take this one step further. Let's put a little nylog down there. See if I could get my hands down there. And we're gonna see how deep we can get this vacuum. This is just experimentation to show you what nylog does. If I could prove it. Uh, my eyes, sorry guys, gotta put that down. And I need that light. Let's get a little nylog goopity goop down there. And there we go. A little, little dab of do ya. So you see that little shiny right there? Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Right there. You see the slimy stuff? It looked like you made a mess last night. Uh, let's turn on the vacuum. Now, we know that thing's just bursting out and leaking with pressure, with nitrogen. That's, that's a fact. But under vacuum, it was nearly holding, and now I'm doing it again. You can see the vacuum is open here. I'm open on the low side, I'm open on the high side. We're pulling down. That's a large crack. I could grab it with my hand. I could grab that pipe and move it. And you, you can literally see the crack open up and move when I wiggle the pipe. But yet, yeah, look at the vacuum. Now look at the vacuum, especially after I put the nylog on there. Okay, now I'm gonna kill the vacuum again. And let's see what happens. Let's shut off the vacuum. Okay, vacuum's off. That's a huge leak, but there's no way in hell a guy with a pair of analog gauges putting on a vacuum pump is gonna find that leak because it's gonna do absolutely nothing. And that's a vacuum leak that doesn't leak when you put it on the vacuum pump. Perfect example, especially after the nylog. Now look how low it holds and it's nearly rock steady now. That's why you put this on O-rings and all your fittings. All right guys, I'll see you later. Thumbs up for Nylog, True Tech Tools. See ya.